Hi, it's Joe from VCAM TV Studios, and today I have another Saturday morning preview. This one is called Alf Loves a Mystery. Alf Loves a Mystery. Oh, he loves a mystery, huh? Well, that's good. I thought he only enjoyed watching golf and soap operas. You know, like my grandma. And Alf is no stranger to promoting Saturday morning shows. He also was in that Saved by the Bell one that I watched. You're incredible, Alf, but how did it end? Some cliffhanger, huh? You remember Alf? He was a wise-talking alien, popular on NBC in the late 80s. Tonight, Alf's on trial. Objection! Is he an illegal alien? Alf was like if Superman was funny. Think about it. Like Superman, he came from a planet that was destroyed. His true identity can't be discovered. You, you, you can't expose to the public, but now why are you exposing to the public? His life is under threat by alien task forces. Have you ever heard of the Alien Task Force? Some people have said that Superman has a lot in common with Jesus. So does that make Alf also like Jesus? Something to think about next time you're having a delicious cat dinner. And here's the thing with Alf. When he wasn't starring on his hit sitcom... Tonight! He was like the Billy, Billy Mays, Mays of his time period. The easy way to fix, fill and seal virtually anything fast and make it last. <laughs> He'd hawk anything. Ah, oh, the Alf electric toothbrush. He'd hawk his music at a Burger King. Each comes with his own record. Cause we're doing the Mad Max Burger King has been invaded by Alf puppets. Please help. Hey, I'm hungry. Well, not everybody was mad about this invasion. Not this freaking guy. He stands Alf. Just like a 2019 teen girl does for BTS. Nice. You even say one thing wrong about Alf, and you're gonna have an over-party on Twitter. He'd guest host the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Oh, oh, the Pink Panther! Oh, this cat is so cool, you'd think he didn't know old Alf had an eye on him. Where he threatened to eat Garfield. Now this is the sixth time this tabby has stalked down Broadway in Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And if my plans work out, it'll be his last. But I guess murder threats weren't a big deal back then, as he still was allowed to go to the well, White House. Well, Alf, I want to thank you for your, for your, uh, oh, thank you. I'm a diplomat from another place. Oh, you are, you are. And we trusted Alf on what services we needed to have in our life. Like how to save the most money on a phone call. Alf, it's about 10, 10, 2, 20. Well, don't forget the best part. 99 cents for all calls up to 20 minutes. I like that, brother. Obviously from another mother. Because we can't just all rob a Radio Shack. <laughs> or get a commercial that airs during the Super Bowl. <laughs> or somebody offering us money to pose nude. Alf, are you gonna pose nude? I am nude. Alf isn't the only cast member from his show in this special. The little kid Benji is also in this as our main detective. He's no Columbo, I'll say that much. This special is loaded with the hotties. It's got Shannon Doherty, Jackie, and uh, Betty White. From the Golden Girls, Betty White. Betty White. <laughs> Is it too much to ask for a cat fight? Or would Elf get hungry as soon as somebody mentioned cat fight? Would he think that it's like a cock fight and his dinner's fighting? Something to think about. It's cool that Alf got one of his castmates to join him on this special. Could you put me in a story? Why'd we get stuck with the kid from Alf? You're telling me that the guy who played Willie Tanner turned this down? What about a mystery? I love a mystery! Well, you know what? Let's see how Alf's mystery plays out. Remember when I said that Alf would hawk any product he could? Well, that includes one of two different cartoons starring him. Well, every kid in America will want to know about my life on Melmac before it went kablooey. Well, for one thing, the planet exploded. <laughs> If you thought that Alf leached off the Tanner family, well then you'll love him as an adult man-child that leeches off his parents. Garth Shumway! My mom, Flo. Oh, Gordon, you're going to be late. Remember on Alf when he would talk about his old girlfriend, Rhonda? I was finally going to get together with my true love, Rhonda. You're the only one for me. Well, she's actually a character on the cartoon series. The lovely Rhonda. Get ready to attack. All right, Alf. If you want to make decisions about how shows should be run, 
what kind of storylines will you and Rhonda have? We need something sexy. So what kind of relationship did you have with Rhonda? Your mother didn't approve of Rhonda? Nope. She had a reputation. She skied around. Of course, that's how I met her. We were skiing our eyes out one night, and, well, it's a long story. Okay, that's either slang for them doing cocaine, or they did some Melmachian mating. Yeah, yeah! Now we're cooking with cat grease! Hmm. I wonder what that would be like. I'm writing the story. There's something wrong with your eye? Never mind. Why don't we go somewhere for a cat fudge sundae? Nice! In Alf Loves a Mystery, Benji Gregory is going to play the role of... Kid Cameron, Private Eye. But I don't know anything about Private Eye. And if you want to know anything about a Private Eye, just know that they're watching you. And they see your every move. Just remember as you watch this special, it's all coming from Alf's mind. Kid Cameron arrives at the spooky Hollywood mansion, only to be greeted by this butler. You're late. Yeah. Case over. This guy's guilty. I already know it. You don't have to continue the special or anything. We're Frank and Joe Hardy. We've heard a lot about you, kid. Hardy kids? Matt and Jeff? I thought the Hardys were both boys. We're the Hardys, kid, with the T. No, it's different. That's how you avoid getting a lawsuit from the Hardy family estate. A cease and desist letter sent to you from Vanguard One. So we find out that everyone's been invited to this mansion to help Jack A retrieve the hidden millions. I am the Countess, Mona Mole. Thank you for coming. I'm sure you've met my other guest, Max the Mole. And if you can't trust a guy whose nickname is The, Mole, the Mole to never, ever, ever, ever sell you out, who can you trust? And if you like the mole, you should see the guy that she hired last week to watch her safe, Steve Fortune Stealer. Years ago, a fortune was hidden somewhere in this house. I will split that fortune 50-50 with whoever finds it. And even if you don't win a fortune, as a consolation prize, everybody's getting a Milky Way bar. Which, if this commercial is anything to go by, will get you all kinds of the sex. Hey guys, Milky Way got me daytime loving. Sexy. They won't be around anyway. <laughs> okay, how did nobody hear or even own. question that? Let the search begin. Yeah. Why would you turn the lights out? Couldn't you have asked us normally? What is wrong with you, woman? I'll take good care of them. <laughs> <laughs> How is nobody alarmed by the amount of evil laughter these two are unable to hold back from? My copy of Alf Loves a Mystery included some of the commercials. Put the recorders on pause. And dude, this 7-Up song is isn't fire. It pink, isn't it cruel to think what the others miss hey, when ladies. it comes to this 7-Up can't get enough Who How you doing, Silver Man? And for a second time in one of these specials, somebody is way too overhyped to talk about the chipmunks. It's something from Alvin and the chipmunks. Who's the chipmunks agent? How do they get people to promote them that hard? Alvin's terrific. I can't wait to see more of him on Saturday. You soulless corporate puppet. Also for the second time, Al seems to be in the role of director of the special. The Countess was beginning to realize how hard it is to find good help. Who's that? The guy who dreamed you up. Down a hall, your first clue rests beneath a dog who's blue. Wow. I'm impressed. Blue, Run is that on, you? Frank boy. I didn't even now recognize you. You've aged terribly. This blue dog is from a show called Foofer. It's Foofer, the blue dog in the clue. I honestly thought he said Boofer. It's Foofer, the... It's Foofer, the... So I'll only go by what I saw in the promo. The show is about cosplaying dogs. <laughs> you see, I also hang up Foofer pictures around my house. Oh, that sucks, <laughs> guy. Original Foofer paintings can go for a ton of money. And now we're off to Fraggle Rock. Fraggle Rock, one mile down. 
and the animation almost looks like Muppet Babies. Get your cares away! Worries for another day! Let the music play! And I looked it up online, and it is. In a bedroom, you will find a wild woman with a large glass eye. Kinky. We'll see who gets a treasure. Shannon Doherty is that bitch. The peanuts. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Okay, what is in the Snickers that this girl is eating? The peanuts. Yeah, yeah! Now we're cooking with cat grease! Speaking of kinky... Can you help me? I can't seem to get this thing off! So now we meet Betty White's character, and she apparently is having a tough time with her new life in the Illuminati. Well, I have to admit, I'm a little over my head with this pyramid business. Her abilities seem to include summoning Alf on her crystal ball. Oh, fudge. The reception's on the blink again. All I get is a hairy guy with a big nose and an attitude problem. I wonder if she summoned him... 10 10 2, 20. Exactly. Can I interest you in our next show, Gummy Bears? In Gummy Glam, there's nothing we like better than a good night's sleep. And Gummy Bears face the same problem that all social media companies face. Unfortunately, we won't get much. Not with trolls on the loose. Why don't they just deal with it the way everybody does? We've always got our secret weapon! Judge! With the block button. Or if you're feeling generous, the mute button. Three Kid Cameron top. and the Hardy Kids continue their search Color for clues. Blue. Sounds like my last date. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Now time for a little Smurf action. The attic holds a wondrous treasure. Search there for laughter and for pleasure. What the f***, oh, Papa Smurf? You tell anybody about our little secret? I'll kill your dog. No, I'm not going anywhere near your attic for pleasure. Let's go, you guys! The lady in red has to convince them to let her join. She was all over them like a bad suit. Pleaded to tag along. Ow. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Said something in their eyes made her trust them. There, that was romantic, right? The special gets even kinkier with some tickling action in Jack A. Death by tickling. <laughs> the way this shot is composed, it almost feels like one of those old school point and click oh, adventure games see? come to life. The next cartoon is The New Archies. The New Archies? What's that? Archie and Jughead? Who are they? And from its preview, I can tell it's not as dark as Riverdale. No, seriously, what is this show? And that jughead, he's such a I thought jughead. Archie comics were about people making jokes about hamburger eating and the problems of being a young adult. Not about setting asylum escapees on fire so they themselves don't get butchered. Are you gonna ask somebody to the after school rock up, Archie? And with that kind of voice acting, I kinda wish the show would have stuck around a little longer. Yeah, but it only lasted 13 episodes. <laughs> Don't forget Jughead and me, Archie! Unlike Dre, people forgot about Jughead. And no murder mystery is complete without a creepy old woman showing up. Okay, I'm not the only one who just peed himself a little bit. Why would you greet us like that, lady? What is wrong with you? Well, this old woman was actually just the maid trying to sneak a break in to watch I'm Telling. I'm Telling! Knowing my sister, I'd have to say she would say Nerds Weekly. <laughs> Nerds Weekly. I'm Telling was like playing the newlywed game, but instead of with your spouse, it would be with your sister. And I'm loving all these authentic sibling interactions. Definitely, definitely. You know, Final clue leads them to find out that the money was hidden behind the fireplace. But you're incredible. We just found hidden millions. We just found hidden millions. We just found hidden millions. Wonder where it's from. And wouldn't you know it, Jackie and the butler were the evil ones all along. See, because the twist was, Alf doesn't just love a mystery. You won't be needing money where you're going. Back into the vault. <laughs> 
Alf loves a murder mystery. We're sealing you in forever. And that scary old woman who was the maid? Well, she's actually undercover. Officer Makepeace, at your service. I've been undercover on this case for two months. And she arrests Jack A. Because Jackie was gonna murder everybody once they found the hidden millions. Jackie all along was his bubbles clover. And that money actually belonged to Shannon Doherty's character, the lady in red. It was stolen years ago from her family and hidden here. Thank you. Poor Benji. Who knew Alf was such a cock? What's the big idea? You're not old enough for some stories, Benji. Maybe we'll finish this one in a few years. And how much older does Benji have to be, Alf, for him to hear this part of the story? Does he have to be this old and make these kind of sounds while he's mating? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At least I still have the money. It's fake money. It's Alf money. His face is imprinted right on the dollar bill. Which, to be honest, if you paid me in that, I'd be okay with it. Probably could buy you a bunch of things on Melmac. All right, who gets the chili cat? You know what? We probably could get a KFC meal. New chicken little, new chicken is this KFC's sandwich. way of new telling us that they little, murdered Kentucky famous Fried character Chicken, chicken Little? little? So nice. And now they're feeding him to us? Maybe he had a right to panic all the time. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The colonel was after him the whole time, wasn't he? <laughs> You're just kind of asking for it. You know, dancing in front of KFC is a bad move, Chicken Little. I just can't believe the Colonel got Matt LeBlanc to help capture and eat the poor chicken. How could you, Joey? How can you not care? Like this. Would I eat Chicken Little? I mean, I'm not saying no. And because all specials have to end with interspecies mingling, Alf writes himself to go off with the hot girl. <laughs> Come on, you love bugs. Which is why I've never trusted any time where Alf is in Lynn's bedroom. On top of me. I always forget that last. Straddle me. You know, Alf's just kind of a great guy, isn't he? Interesting choice. Well, not Spanish Alf. Spanish Alf is terrifying sounding. Bueno, he comido cosas peores. And as a bonus for myself for making this video, I may have found the dream girl for me. Yo, want a whopper? No problem. I picture us having a life together. Get cozy beneath the elf comforter. Hey, if you want to see more specials, more TV talk, more childhood stories, mashups, uh, comedy sketches, and uh, documentaries, like, click, and subscribe. Uh, at some point, I may have a Patreon or some other way to earn money for all this hard work. And that will go towards, I don't know, building a spaceship to get back to Melmac. Anyway, comment below, comment on a past video, and follow me on social media. Just Twitter and Instagram.